It's hot in a lot of places, like real hot. Summer technically starts June 20th, late in the evening, but the heat tens of millions are feeling, that's more like late summer or a completely different part of the planet altogether. Give me like 90 seconds, let's put this into context for you using attribution science of Climate Central's Climate Shift Index. Alaska made headlines this week, first ever heat advisory issue, especially around the Fairbanks area, 10 to 15 degrees above average, highs upper 80s, low 90s, heat one and a half to two times more likely because of climate change. On the North Slope, rapid snow melt, ice jams, flooding potential is possible, heat there three to five times more likely, and for some, almost impossible without climate change. Two sides of the same coin though, the fire danger is high in central Alaska, in an area we already knew that the wildfire concern existed, we're over 300,000 residents were already at a high risk. Sweaty in the Southwest as it continues to simmer. Phoenix passed 110, that heat balloons across New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, Denver, by the way, summer arrives with forecast highs in the mid nineties, which are four to five times more likely because of climate change. The UK came off a record spring and summer is officially starting sweltering. Between June 19th and the 22nd, 66.5 million people will experience at least one day with a climate shift index of three. 27.1 million will see at least one day with a climate shift index of five with highs topping 30 Celsius for many. And to the south, Spain and France, yikes! Ongoing heat continues as high pressure shoves and traps hot air from parts of Africa. High temperatures in both countries generally forecast above 35 C and for many approaching 40 C. That's 95 to 105 on the Fahrenheit scale, three to five times more likely because of climate change. Back to the States we go for the first big heat wave for the upper Midwest and the East. As highs come anywhere around say 100, feels like temperatures above that. This early season heat, extremely rare to nearly impossible without climate change. And this upcoming heat wave doesn't look like it's just a blip. Climate change generally means heat waves arrive earlier, last longer, more intense, and have become more frequent. Go check out climate change's fingerprint on the start of summer's heat. The data and the details are waiting for you on the map at csi.climatecentral.org.